When I saw videos of this amazing perpetual motion model machine, I just had to get one to try it out and see if it works. So I had a look on Amazon and ordered this one. It came to just under £25 delivered and I couldn't wait to receive it. This is what showed up. Well to start with the box seemed pretty thin and flimsy and not very protective but I opened it up and removed the contents. So I guess this is the base and in here are all the other gubbins. Now the first thing I noticed was this. It's made out of plastic and certainly not the nice bit of wood shown in the photos. And Okay, so there's a little battery cover under here, which takes an AA battery. So I'll install one now, ready. Then we have to assemble it ourselves. This is the little guardrail across the back. I think the chute fits into these two holes here. And these three longer pieces are the supports. Once it's sat on the top, I think the chute is supposed to clip into this little holder here. Then we've got this piece, which is supposed to support it from the front. Oh, it doesn't seem to clip in. I think it's too long. It can't go the other way round. Uh, it's just not working. That's useless. I guess we'll have to try it without it. Well, my initial thoughts are I'm really disappointed with this. But let's at least see if it works. So I turned the switch on underneath here. And oh, you can see it's just driving this wheel down here in the hole. And the motor noise is really loud. It's certainly not the nice quiet quiet, calming effect I thought we were going to get from this machine. It's really going from bad to worse. But let's put one of the marbles on. So it just spins round and round. Then when it drops down the hole. Hey, look at that. Oh, and again, and again, and again. Oh, oh, that was clever. So it did five in a row. Then the sixth attempt failed. But quite amazingly, it bounced straight back onto the track. I'll give it another go. Whee. And again, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Let's try two at once. And they're off. <laughs> Whoa, that was neat. Well, they're definitely working. That one's going round and round. And there we go, both fallen off. Okay, so it is fun playing with this, but let's be honest, it is pretty useless. The product doesn't look anything like the nice photos that were advertising it. It doesn't even fit together properly. It's powered by this really noisy motor, and after just a handful of successful loops, it seems to fail, so you couldn't just really leave it somewhere to go round and round. Who knows where the marbles would end up? I've obviously been ripped off with a nasty fake version of the real thing, so I did a little digging around on the internet and came across this. It's the website of the genuine inventor of the original machine, William and he even warns that there's thousands of fake knockoff devices for sale. These look beautiful, so I contacted him and he agreed to make me one. And while we're waiting for it to arrive, I'm going to show you another amazing product. It came to me mail order and arrived really well packaged. Inside is this smart looking box which doesn't really give us any clues to what it is. And when I open that up, the first thing we get is these clear bits of plastic. It's a base and some legs. Then remove this next layer to reveal this absolutely beautiful but rather confusing globe. Yeah, it's planet Earth. It just kind of spins in your hand while you're holding it. Check that out. <laughs> That's amazing. I could just play with this thing for hours. It's got some really beautiful detail. It's a satellite photo from space wrapped around the sphere. And I love the little cloud cover too. And the reason we can hold it and it still spins is because it's actually inside a very thin transparent case. So we're holding the casing and the globe which is inside is free to move around. I think it actually floats in a liquid and it must be weighted because it always tends to point down. But it gives this incredible illusion of the whole world just spinning in your hand. Pretty cool, huh? Now check out what happens if I roll it along the floor. Although it rolls perfectly smoothly, the globe inside just stays upright. <laughs> Doesn't that look crazy? If you look really closely, you can sometimes just see the join line which joins the two halves of the outer casing together. It's so fine it's pretty much unnoticeable though. So it's called a Mova Globe and it's got to be one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen. Not only is it amazing to handle but it's actually solar panels and it'll rotate all by itself. Take a look at it when I place it on this stand. Doesn't that look stunning? It just sits there and spins. So how on earth does it work? Apparently it uses advanced magnets for torque and solar cells to power the movement and it's somehow all packed inside the this globe. It doesn't require any batteries or cords and it can work from the interior light or sunlight. So it'll stay spinning for as long as there's light. That's simply amazing. They also come in a range of different sizes and styles but they are expensive though. I paid around £200 for this. But what an absolute marvel of a thing. If you'd like to buy any of the things you see in this video there's links in the description. And if you'd like to support me and the channel please do consider subscribing. Next I want to show you this Drinking Bird Perpetual Motion Simulator. It's a lot cheaper than the other two. It costs around the £12 mark. Open it up and you've got their body here and the legs here which is really a stand that the whole thing swings on. The body's made out of this glass tube with a bulb on the bottom containing this blue liquid. The glass tube links this bulb with another one at the top which is covered in fabric and made to look like a bird's head. And to use it we start by clipping it into the legs like this. Then we need to take a drinking glass which is roughly the same height as the legs. Fill it up with some water and we actually need to wet the head of the bird so I dipped it into the glass like this. Next we need to position it so that when 
when the bird rocks forward, he dips his beak into the water to take a drink. And if you need to, you can adjust it up and down in the metal clamp, so that as the blue liquid rises up from the bottom into the head, the bird rocks forward to take a drink. Once it's adjusted correctly, it should automatically just tilt forward, take a little drink, then sit back upright. And once you've got it set correctly, it should just continue to work. This clever little toy works as a result of the water cooling around the bulb at the top. The moisture, which absorbs up through the beak and around the head, cools down the gas inside of the top bulb, and as a result, the pressure difference between the top and the bottom bulb causes the fluid to be pushed up through the glass tube. When it's top heavy, it reaches a tipping point, it bends forward to take another drink, and at the bottom, gas enters the tube, which displaces the liquid all the way up to the top, causing it to run back down to the bottom. It's a really clever little heat engine, and as long as the top bulb continues to get wet, the process will just repeat. I've kept this one going for days, without even having to top up the water. It's a great little science toy, but now, guess what's arrived? It's the perpetual marble machine. Even the box is far better quality than the first one I ordered, and I'm being very careful when I open it not to damage what's inside. Oh, look at that. Isn't that packaged nicely? I removed this bag of bits and pieces, and the silica gel pouch, then took it out of the box. There's these precision cut pieces of foam to keep it well protected, and when I took it out, you can see it comes completely pre-assembled. Not like that cheap version I bought. This one's been beautifully crafted, and it looks just amazing. If we look at the top piece, whereas the other one was all plastic and had a motor and switch on it, this one is just a low lovely solid piece of wood. Instead, all the magic happens under this panel inside the base, and we'll be looking in there in a minute. But one of the first things I noticed when I picked this up was just how heavy it is. It's definitely solid wood and it feels really good quality, and when I weigh it, it comes out as 1.1 kilograms. If we compare that to the first one I bought, well this one doesn't even weigh 400 grams. If we put them side by side, you can see their similar dimensions. The cheap one is a little bit shorter, and not quite as tall. So, next I'm opening up this pouch, and I'm going to take a look at the instructions. To use it, we first need to unscrew the rubber feet, and open up the bottom panel. Wow, check that out! There's a lot going on in there. A circuit board with four large capacitors, and I think this is an electromagnet which accelerates the ball as it rolls past on the chute. Perpetual motion obviously doesn't really exist, and these are just a perpetual motion simulator. Basically, it's an illusion, and it requires a battery. It takes one of these large rechargeable batteries, which I had to buy separately, and it clips in here. The instructions say before we screw the cover back on, we should first check it turns on and works. It shows there's a kind of hidden power button, which we just have to tap with our finger. I tried it out, and wow, sure enough the little green LED on the circuit board lit up. <laughs> check that out, that's so cool. A touch-sensitive wooden base. So I dropped a marble in, and yes, look at that! Oh, that's beautiful. So I screwed the feet back on so it's ready to use. Now you may have noticed there's a very small hole in the base plate here, and this actually lines up with the LED inside, so you can just see the little green light through it when it's switched on. There's also this charging port here, and he supplied a lead to charge it, which just plugs into a USB. And when it is charging, the little LED inside turns red. This machine is absolutely stunning. They're all hand-built and tested in his workshop in Vietnam. I just love how it's completely silent in regards to there's no motor noise. All you can hear is the ball rushing down the chute, the knock as it lands back onto that nice wooden disc and how it runs back round into the hole. There's something absolutely magical about it. I've kept this one going for ages and it hasn't missed a ball yet. And you can even use it with more than one ball. But let me show you a couple of other cool things. If we just turn it off, you can see straight away the machine just can't operate. It has to have that boost from the battery and the electromagnet to launch the marble back around. And if I turn it on and just place the marble down here, you can see it kind of pulsing as it pushes the marble forward. If you'd like to buy one, they are quite expensive at about £145 shipped, depending where you live, but don't forget, they're individually handmade. And as we know, you definitely get what you pay for. I've included links to his shops in the description. If you'd like to see these really cool fidget toys, you can click on this link here. Yeah. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.